What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Destroy Him, and I'm back with another fresh commentary. Look, <clears throat> we have Halloween right around the corner, and the holiday season is about to begin. But not only that, Black Ops 2 is coming out. Isn't everyone excited? I am, and I cannot wait. But let me tell you, and I'm pretty sure that you already realize this, but it's not going to be really too much of a difference. And here's why. Because the... There's going to be two new things in Black Ops 2, along with any other Call of Duty game that comes out. It will be new maps and new guns. And the things that are going to stay the same are the tactics that people use to play this game. Now, I mean, like, you should already expect to see people still camping in corners, even though there's rumored, well, I'm pretty sure it's not a rumor anymore because we already seen some of the videos um, about how there's a x-ray sniper rifle that you can get from a kill streak or something like that and you'll be able to you know see through walls and all of that stuff but without that people will still be camping in corners um people are still going to drop shot but when they try to drop shot they're going to end up um what's that belly flopping shit what is that um, um uh uh what is it what is this on the tip of my tongue dolphin dive and I usually dolphin dive in Black Ops because I'm so used to modern warfare when uh, if I'm running I just instantly just hit the crouch button and I just go prone but when you're playing Black Ops and you try to run and you try to drop shot at the same time you're going to make a mistake and dolphin dive but really there's not going to be too much of a difference um, but the most the thing that I'm most excited about when Black Ops 2 comes out is going to be the guns and the maps. Um, I, have, I had a friend of mine tell me when we got these new maps for the PlayStation 3, because we get them late as hell, um, there's not really a difference. Um, in my eyes, there is. The terrain is different in just how the map is. Every map is different in its own way. Some people choose to play uh, more of an of offensive and like hang back I most of the time I camp and run and gun at the same time look it's hard for me to explain really that's why I don't really give out tips but if I was to give out a tip I would mostly say that the best tip I can give you is to not die um, that's most importantly if you want to be successful is to not die um, number two, I would say you have to practice your aim. Go into a private lobby and just practice. Find a target, run around a corner, and try to hit it. You know, um, that's basically it. So all of these tips and tricks about these jump sites and these little, um, these gimmicks, they're not going to get you far. They won't get you far at all. The best way to get good at this game is constantly playing it. I've started from Modern Warfare 2 where I sucked ass, by the way, but eventually I got better because I did watch um, some of the YouTube videos that was out during that time of Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. You know, I, I watched those videos and I paid attention to how those guys played. Now, I am nowhere near being... Um, I guess you can say an MLG expert. I just did a little hand quotes too. You couldn't see them. But anyway, I am nowhere near that. But I did develop some type of a skills to where when I get in certain situations, I no longer die. Now, my aim isn't perfect, but it's nowhere near what it used to be. Um, I guess if, if there was a third tip, choose, your, cho choose a gun that you like. Um my eyes I love the ACR because it's automatic and it's pretty accurate and in Modern Warfare you do have the SCAR which is better than the ACR as far as accuracy wise so if you if, if you if you want a gun that is high highly accurate I would use the AC, not the ACR but the, the SCAR the SCAR -O. that's that's highly accurate that's a highly accurate gun now most people hate on the ACR I don't know why when, when you have it unlocked and you can use it too, but they don't want to use it because they think they're better than it, but yet they still complain about the gun. 
I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Um, that's really all the tips and tricks I can give you, really. Other than, you know, just go into a private lobby, practice, practice your art. Um, watch other YouTubers, see how they play. You know, try to, um, I'm going to throw this out there. It might not be the right reference, but try to um, backwards engineer what they're doing and try to implement that into your game. Um, and, and see how that works. Now, I cannot tell you that you should put your sensitivity on 10. I don't even play on a 10, so why would I tell you that? That's dumb. Just because you see someone using, or just because they say, hey, I use this sensitivity, does not actually mean that if you choose that sensitivity, that it's going to work.